I V M. Hi, I'm Rohan Joshi, and on my podcast, the show about crypto, I've been having some pretty cool conversations with industry experts about what exactly cryptocurrency is and what makes it so exciting. If you haven't already, please check it out on the IVM Podcasts Network. Now, a quick shout out to my fellow crypto heads. We've got a listener survey going on, which will take not more than ten minutes of your time to fill out. So please check the link in the description and help me out by filling it up. Don't forget to tune into a show about crypto on the IVM app and wherever you get your podcasts from. Hello and welcome to Simplified. A show where three friends get together. <laughs> Usually, there's a fourth friend, but he's not here. Today. <laughs> and we discuss all kinds of topics, trying to break them down in language that we can understand, and in the process, hopefully, make you, the listener, slightly smarter about whatever is being discussed. My name is Deepak, also known as Chuck. Hello, co-hosts. Hi, my name is Riket, also known as Riket. Uh, and I'm Tony. Hi. Tony, uh, and uh, also known as Naughty Tony, <laughs> uh, so known as Naughty Tony, and our fourth co-host is Narin, who is of course not here today, unfortunately, in the studio. So we have two new things. We have two new things to say. Yes, yes, correct. Yes, that sorry. we are in a studio. <laughs> we rehearse, and so <laughs> we are recording episode, a physical episode in the studio for the first time since two thousand. 19 December 19 December yeah. wow and and for the reference i mean today is uh, 17th of february yeah what was the episode that we recorded in the studio any idea i okay yeah, was I it a remember, year end episode no i do remember this it was one one was an year end episode the other one was interviewing narain's son who was doing the vr wow. stuff because i remember there was a photo of all of us uh, putting like goggle eyes and stuff like that Uh, I mean, in 2019, we interview his son who just do, did an internship in virtual reality, <laughs> and last year Facebook renamed themselves to Meta. Right. I'm, I mean, I mean, yeah. draw your own conclusions. Yeah. Right. So Sim- anyway, simplified is how do you, <laughs> simplified is always ahead of that. Yeah. It is, it is a podcast that's not appreciated in its own. No, uh, we are an incubator. Except, of the, uh, we are an incubator of the future. Yeah. Except by our producers yeah. who yeah. are yeah. clamoring. We, we, we'll <laughs> get there. We, we, we'll get there. But uh, guys, how does it feel to be back in the studio, and not seeing each other as little boxes? Wow! Yeah, I mean the biggest the biggest change is that uh, I'm very conscious that people can see my lower half, <laughs> like oh, yeah. uh, because what? it's not in a zoomed up by anymore. So I'm like, even though I'm wearing pants, I am still conscious that my you legs. You do are know exposed. this is audio only, right? As of now, <laughs> hey, talking about us. <laughs> I'm talking about to each other. <laughs> no, and, that, that's why. I'm and our recording people and our producer. <laughs> We've been roommates. We've seen a lot worse of each other. <laughs> <laughs> so, and the second, the second update that we have is there used to be this saying that the Pakistan cricket team goes through coaches <laughs> 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 or something of that sort. The analogy was clunky, but anyway, we have a new producer who is Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Anthony is waving because yeah. he's on mute. Yeah, <laughs> so Anthony is waving. But but I, I think at, this is tradition. This is yeah, yeah. as no tradition, tradition goes, we need to speak Take of shots. we can need to speak the name of all the uh, producers that came before Anthony. Okay. So Chuck, uh, since you were the one of I the founding yeah, members of yeah, Simplified, yeah. I think we should go in reverse. I think this might uh, reverse be might be better. Yeah. yeah. If any of you are listening to this while having a sip, I think let's take take shots every time. Yeah. <laughs> we have a producer name for producer. you. Okay. So before Anthony, there was Vinay. Vinay. Then before Vinay, there was Abbas. Abbas. I want to think there was a brief no, stint in the Darius. middle. Of this, Darius. No, no. Uh, Darius came before, before Abbas. Abbas. Yes. And then there was Naveen Arora before oh. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that awe from Shrikant was mostly because Naveen, I think, saw us through our worst period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Naveen, Naveen was like uh, responsible for keeping us afloat, and uh, since then, uh, no, I think all of them have been responsible for keeping us afloat. Afloat, more or less. afloat is one thing, but Naveen, I think, saw the transition. I think yeah, Naveen yeah. was to us what say Bob Rock was to Metallica's career. Uh, um, okay, the analogy is again yeah. not working. Or uh, uh, Naveen like was the news feed for Facebook, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, oh, or 1983 uh, was for Indian cricket team. Oh, again, <laughs> again, all analogies are perfect and imperfect at the same time. Yeah, and before Naveen, okay, here's the sad thing. I think it's a blur what happened before <laughs> Naveen. I know May Thomas was in the room at some point of time. Oh, wow. And before, okay, I'm very sorry if there is a former producer who's listening to us. <laughs> very unlikely. <laughs> Saranya was there at one uh, point, but then there was a sub, I believe. And yeah, that's about it. And you then want to name the very first producer or something? Self. Like that? Self. <laughs> no, as in wasn't one, that? One oh, plus. yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Self, 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 self. self. There were many characters. One in the plus play. three. 
ஒன்ஸ்டெட் <laughs> discuss cricket over here and left that group <laughs> and that uh, well pa- it's kind of you to say that that was my part of my media empire i will fair enough i'll claim, claim it that. i'll i'll claim it i'll claim it uh, general electric has done a lot worse <laughs> yeah. yes um, yeah, a media empire yeah, that includes media scene and yeah, yeah, yeah exactly yeah. no that that might be stretch <laughs> and that has spawned an actual uh, yeah. podcast please tell us about pieces and bits <laughs> said said bits. podcast with very unique name Yeah. It is entirely, <laughs> entirely like uniquely very, available on Google. Very right. SEO verified. Very, very SEO verified. <laughs> I, 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 want, I, want to, I want to tell you that Tony and I have worked on other projects called the first slip and the third, third slip, slip and yeah. neither of them have anything <laughs> to do with cricket. Actually, the first did, but never mind. Well, uh, cricket for did things. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a start, by the way. So far, we have spoken about nothing that is the topic of today. Yeah. But please indulge us. We are in the studio for the first time. So. By the way, if you are new to Simplified, I guarantee you the episode you are listening listening to now and the episode you're going to listen to next week are completely contrast yeah. so you're going to get the yeah. simply as so a simplified universe into <laughs> exactly. uh, episode sorry let me just finish plugging yes. Yes. it's called so, yes, yes, please, yes. it's called bits and pieces the friendliest cricket podcast and the last friend we had on the show was chuck so oh. i've actually recorded a podcast with chuck which is not simplified before i've recorded simplified <laughs> oh, wow I, yeah. something went missing there but anyway it's a <laughs> it's a fun it podcast was fun. it was a fun podcast yeah, so yeah. if you if you like cricket or want to like cricket or, or banter uh, or, like or banter banjo. and uh, just want to discover cricket through them <laughs> I I I wonder if I imagine if someone doesn't understand cricket start listening to your podcast what would they learn Oh yeah it'll be interesting it's fascinating <laughs> socially we brought Chuck on last time <laughs> Yeah and speaking of which and this is actually a good uh, sick, yeah. uh, this thing to because the way I so we are talking to talk about a sport today and the way I discovered the sport was by by playing its video game and when I first started playing the video game the very first game I played I knew zero about the rules of that game oh, and that's like how I started learning the game Abhishek Madden Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Abhishek Madden. So, Chuck, do you want to talk about what our uh, topic of the yeah, day is? Yeah, apparently we are going to talk about rugby. Uh, <laughs> hand eggs. <laughs> hand hand eggs. Egg. <laughs> okay, Please no, get all okay, the games no, out. No, okay, seriously. Two years or so back, we allowed Shrike to go to uh, go, I, go, foreign, go abroad, country. foreign country. And he came back completely cultured. He oh, wow. suddenly started wearing things that were not a Liverpool jersey. <laughs> uh, he started drinking sparkling water like a hipster. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> and there's another story there, but we won't get into <laughs> yeah. that. And third, and most bafflingly, he started watching American football. Yes. Uh, or the NFL or Super Bowl or whatever those things are. <laughs> he, okay. We have called Shriket on as a resident guest yeah. to just simplify this game because Shriket came with the magnificent proclamation uh, of all the games that I have seen played etc etc this is the game that has the most amount of strategy <laughs> in it. and yeah. so so he claims and the so origin of this is the last time we were here at IBM we had a photo shoot post game drink <laughs> post post game drinks which is very interesting so i had actually got over my disdain for super bowl and nfl and all of that mm-hmm. till the super bowl finals happened uh, which right. featured a team called cincinnati bengals, bengals. <laughs> like, what like okay here's the thing okay there's there's the ipl which is terrible names out of which one of the teams got renamed from the delhi daredevils to delhi capitals and when the owner was asked what does capitals mean and he's like 
capitals means capitals like yeah. you are from the capital <laughs> mumbai is mumbai indians like yeah. they are not indian indians. they are yeah. indians. Yeah. indians similarly yeah. delhi capitals and yeah. that's that's very mean Z- worthy no. So yeah. I went up and looked uh, what Cincinnati Bengals oh, origin of the name. Perfect. Go for origin it. of the name was okay, and apparently Cincinnati Bengals was named after a previous uh, football team called Cincinnati Bengals, which was created by this guy called uh, something Brown. And Brown chose the name Bengals as a link to a local pro team called the Cincinnati Bengals that had played from 1937 to 1941. The original Bengals had been named by founder Hal Pennington. after the bengal stove in his mother's kitchen <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was just hoping that they didn't have a. They were named that way because they went a long time yeah. without winning. Hence, they had a famine of victories. Oh, oh thank you for the, turning into the origin of things. <laughs> <laughs> This is the fraudulent origin of things. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, yeah, so so yeah, I mean, uh, so they named after a stove. They named and after they stove. made it to the okay, Super okay. Bowl. Is fans. there any is there any Super Bowl team that's called the something Tigers? It'd be amazing no, if so, the Bengals was the Tigers. So, yeah. so there are no Tigers per se, but the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals, their their entire logo and their design is entirely Bengal tiger stripe. Tiger stripe. So their mascot is a Bengal tiger. Yeah. So oh, so apparently a... I read up on this and he said that the Bengal stove hmm. actually had a tiger on. Yeah. So it, it, so the there is a I mean the stove it may have come from a stove but actually the overall origin comes from the Bengal tiger and the thing is there are. Lo- lot of like America has a whole bunch of sports and in that there are a lot of teams that are called the Tigers. So and plus in uh, in the US also it's it's uh, American football isn't just played at the NFL which is the biggest level the more fo- followed level is college football mm-hmm, yeah. and there are a whole bunch of teams uh, there is one I think I not sure LSU I think the LSU Tigers or I think it's the LSU Tigers who are more famous as the Tigers than any other team will be so naming anything as the tigers would be counterproductive so that's why they're the bengals like we named ourselves bits and pieces okay, uh, pretty so much <laughs> yeah so so yeah anyway uh, so yes the only thing i know about uh, the super bowl is that there are lots of good ads good ads in the final so used to be used to be okay oh, fair enough. let's not <laughs> okay yeah, so, so uh, honestly tell us about the nfl what's the okay for, let me start with this way there's so many angles we could approach this from What about the game appealed to you? Like you went from not knowing it at all, probably being as skeptical about the game as we are saying, "Ha ha, you call it football." It's like yeah. So, so so for me, where it started from, like so, I've always had like I I I played basketball since I was a kid, and so I followed basketball. Like that's basketball is the first American non-Indian sport that I followed in with great depth. And uh, what happened after that was I got really interested in basketball, and it has its own subculture and all that stuff. Then. later and the thing is so basketball was the first, only sport that i discovered like as by playing it mm-hmm. but what happened after that is i was massively into video games so what that led to was uh, through video games i discovered ice hockey and i started playing playing ice hockey from 2003 like on the, on video games and like i was massively into the whole ice hockey culture and like understanding how ice hockey works and all that stuff so in the and then afterwards obviously when you're learning two american sports america is like Sports is a very integral part of American culture, mm-hmm. and they have like each of those sports goes across different seasons. So there's sport all year long, and everyone's like you follow football, American football over the summer, uh, over the winter into uh, towards the end of winter. And then the basketball season yeah. takes over, then the rest. So it's it's kind of like that. And in that context, what I was like the but the cr- biggest craze was always about American football, and the thing is among all the other sports like. Ice hockey not very difficult to understand. We know what hockey works like, so we know ice hockey how it works. Basketball everyone understands. Throw ball in circle. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's effectively what it is. They don't even have an offside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, they ice do hockey. have backcourt violations though, but that's a different that's, thing. Yeah. yeah, ice hockey is basically how they play ho- hockey in Delhi in winter. In <laughs> <laughs> also a lot. Yeah, of... <laughs> packing weights in your <laughs> socks. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, so uh, so yeah, that's that's yeah. fairly straightforward. Baseball still more complex, but it's hitting a ball with a bat, which Indians which, understand, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> American And in a diamond, which also Indians understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Interesting. American football is one sport that we have no context of whatsoever. Yeah. And the fact that they call it a football in the first place pisses everyone happen. off. Yeah. By right. the way, uh, fun uh, fact: uh, Do you know what the shape? What is the geometrical name of the shape of an um, of the American football? What Ooh, What could be the geometric shape? It has a geometric this. shape name. 
Yeah. It's called an oblate spheroid. Yeah, I knew this. Right. So, at, Interesting. as an oblate spheroid, meaning it's like flattened at the ends and it's like tapered across and it's there's still a sphere of sorts. So, yeah. on that note, I mean, this is a complete deviation from what you were talking about. One very popular identifiable product, I mean, you see it, you know exactly what it is. It is the best example of something called a hyperbolic paraboloid. What am I talking about? Hyperbolic paraboloid. Is it uh, the Nike swoosh? Oh, good guess. No. It's an edible thing. Banana chip? Like jelly beans. Very close. It's a Pringle. Pringle? Oh! oh. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. An actual piece of trivia. For yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Thank but, you. Yes. Which but is coming... also what the some football stadium is called. Anyway. Ah, yeah. Pringle. Pringle. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. I know. Yeah, yeah. Same sounds familiar. Yeah. Anyway. Direct com- Pringle. Yeah. Coming back to <laughs> <laughs> coming back to American football. So, what I did was and this is, I mean, I try to understand the rules of American football because the main thing is, as a person working in advertising, for for quite a few years, I would try to watch the Super Bowl so that I could watch the ads, yeah. right? So, I mean, because everyone wants to watch the ads for Super Bowl. So, I was like, okay, but let's try and understand the game that's going on between the ads as well. And uh, so, I tried to follow it. Just wouldn't make any sense. Like, it's random. Like, there's so much this thing happening. So I said, okay, let me go back to the way I've learned every other, like any sport that I can't understand is play the video play game. The video so I downloaded game. the game. I started playing it and it just did not make sense for a while. It maddened you. Uh, yeah, it was pretty maddening. <laughs> so uh, The game is called Madden. Madden, I, yeah. No. Speaking of it, it's named after an actual guy called John Madden, uh, oh. who just recently passed. This year he passed. Mm-hmm. He's one of the legends of the game as such. So this was actually a pretty iconic year for American football. I'll get to that part uh, later. But... Uh, so I started playing the game and slowly, like some parts of it started making sense. So here's where the very fundamental thing about American football that that you need to know is that, okay, if I was to, let's let's take it as, if I, we were to explain cricket to someone who doesn't understand cricket at all. Oh boy. <laughs> the basic fundamental you'll be like, there is one, there are six, there is one over. Yeah. There are six balls in an over. Mm-hmm. Six times a bowler throws a ball at a batsman. Right. And then that batsman hits the ball and depending batter. on where it, the bat, batter hits yeah. the ball and depending on where that ba- ball goes, the game is scored. Yeah. Right. In a, in a very two line simple sense. So in that sense, if I was to try and explain American football, it is, there are, there are two different teams. Their objectives are to move the ball. So you have one end of the field and the other team has the other end of the field. Your objective is to move the ball from your end of the field to their other end of the field. Oh. All right. And each time, so what is the overs part of uh, cricket in fo- American football is that you have four tries to move the ball 10 yards. If you fail to move the ball 10 yards in four tries, the ball goes to the other team to move it to the other end. Oh. At the spot where you where where you failed Correct. to move the ball is where the other team will take over and try to move the ball to the other end. Okay. And when you say move ten yards, I'm assuming it's in one direction. It's in one direction. You can't like hop, no, the ball no, back. no. There, there are horizontal. There lines. are horizontal lines across the entire thing uh. that measure the number of yards you can move. All right, and and hence the expression the whole nine yards. Oh. I don't know if that comes from there, but uh, th- that's where and each of these tries yeah. is called a down. So okay. there is first down, second down, third down, and fourth down. And so, touchdown. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. But so in this in this particular context is where this whole game begins to work. And also what now the remaining rules, I and mean, if I was to get into it, that would not be this would become a podcast about American football, just trying yeah. to explain <laughs> the rules. But it is the the very simple fundamental is that and the other team's job yeah. is to stop this team from moving the ball further. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the other unique part about American football is that it's a full contact sport. <laughs> yeah. Right. As a full contact sport, the point is you stop the other team from moving the ball down by physically stopping them in any way you want to. Now, there are obviously restrictions. You can't like kill people and stuff. And there are very specific ways you have to push. It's, it's like a wrestling. very difficult thing to do given that there's an American in the name. Like, it's <laughs> yeah. like... Yeah, and, and think of wrestling, right? Yeah. I mean, you have to use your strength to subdue the opponent, but there are very specific ways you're supposed to do it. Hmm. So equally in this, there are specific ways you can kind of like get to the ball and stuff. But when is the like ball considered away from your position? It has to be physically taken away? Or? Yeah, so that's where. So the possession of the ball is the important part here. So when where, what happens is, Every time, the, the classic visual of American football that you will see is that there are two sets of people who are lined on either side and yeah. then the, someone says go and they would hit their heads together, yeah. right? Like yeah. everyone's seen that particular visual. 
That's basically what they are standing on other sides of is what is called the line of scrimmage. The line of scrimmage is where is the progress right now at? So, for example, if the ball is at your 25, so there is team A and team B. Mm -hmm. If the ball is at team A's 25 yard line, meaning I have to progress 75 yards to get to score, right? It's on my 25 yards. So, from that, the ball is placed at that line. Both the teams stand on two sides of it. And the play starts when the ball is snapped back. to, So, oh. the ball is thrown back between their legs to the player called the quarterback. Oh, okay. Alright, the quarterback. And this is this is the first part of now why, why this game is amazing. One part is there is no single position in any sport in the world that is as important and given as much prominence in a game as the quarterback in American football. It's like the queen of chess. Yes. Uh, not even more important actually. Because think of it this way. In cricket or in any other sports that we are familiar with, all players are roughly equal. Yeah. Right? All players can roughly do the same stuff. There are pe people who are specialized positions and people who, are, who mm -hmm. can do certain roles better. But there is no co key importance on one player in the game. But A defender can score a goal. A defender can score a goal. A forward can defend a ball. Sure. Everyone can do different jobs. And so can in American football. But in no sports design, like you can have, in, so when you're playing football, you can have a star player. But the star player isn't designated a star ah, player sir, by yeah. the game. Yeah. The star player has a reputation. He come with a yeah. crown. He's a striker. At yeah. the end of the day, he's going to get listed there with everyone else. Yeah. Right. A quarterback in American football is positionally critical. So, for example, mm. if your team has a quarterback, if your team changes the quarterback, so for example, if your team changes that quarterback, you you change the way you run your offense. You change the way your, you play the game entirely. And, and, and there can be only one designated quarterback. In the game. So there is a backup. Yeah. And, uh, and, but at any point in time. Yeah. And that brings us to the second more, most fascinating thing about American football, which I've not seen in any other sport. Uh, not any other sport, but most sports that we're familiar with. Is that you have unlimited substitutions and unlimited a position player. So, for example, while there are 11 players on the pitch at any mm. point of time, you can, f your starting, your team team lineup features 53 players. <laughs> for one game. For wow. one game. For any game. Because, the point is, what they've done is, they've taken every role and specialized it with unlimited substitutions. Wow. Right. So, there's one player who just kicks the ball. Yeah. So, for example, that's what, so one of the things that is there is, the kicker, can be a guy who's completely unfamiliar and has never played football in his life. So they are actually looking at ways they can get retired Premier League footballers to come and play American <laughs> football. <laughs> because all they have to do is turn up on the pitch and kick the ball. Yeah. They, don't, they don't need to. They, like, don't, need they to don't know everything. They, they don't, don't need to know the rules of the game. Oh, it's like our uh, English Scrabble player, world champion winning French Scrabble. Yeah, exactly. Because he knows Scrabble. He doesn't know French. Exactly. No, yeah. but here you don't even need to know Scrabble. You just need yeah. to know one thing. Kick. Right, so that's what <laughs> there is one. Uh, there's one game. Uh, I forget the name of the game, but uh, I think it's a game changes replacement or something. Where the basically the they hack the rule of the game, saying that your kicker needs to kick the ball. Yeah, but there is no rule that says your kicker needs to be a human being. So they oh. hire a donkey as a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> right, a donkey is kicking the ball. So now you're like, screw it, donkey, donkey can nice. kick the ball. Like uh, basically some Manchester United transfer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's that's the premise of the uh, this thing. So, but sorry, what does a quarterback do? Why is so, he important? Yeah, so now what what the quarterback does is the concept is to move the ball forward, right? Mm -hmm. Now you can move the ball two ways. Think yeah. of it this way: if you have the ball and you there's a bunch of people coming to kill you, yeah, <laughs> you can either run with the ball yeah. forward. The ball needs to move in your possession. Yeah. You and only take, forward. And only forward and needs to end in your possession as well. Yeah. If it ends outside your possession, the other oh. team can take it and run the other way. Yeah. All right. So, so one second. The difference between this and rugby is rugby, you can only throw back. Back. Yeah. Right? So, but the one thing, yeah, the lateral passes. But yeah. the one thing is the quarterback, and that's the change in American football that yeah. they brought, is that the only person who's designated to throw the ball is the quarterback. Oh. Forward. Oh, no one else can throw it. Yeah, he has oh. to be behind the line of scrimmage. Right. You can't throw after the line of scrimmage. Okay, okay. He needs to be behind the line of scrimmage and he needs to throw the ball forward. Yeah. Now, there are trick plays where it's allowed for other players also to throw the ball. Yeah. But let's not get let's into not. that. But the main guy who throws the ball is the quarterback. Right. His job is to throw. Throw. Right. He doesn't wrestle with everyone else. Oh. He needs to have certain endurance because people are coming to kill him. Yeah. Right. But he doesn't need, he's not the one who's going to be going tackling anyone. Yeah. Right. His job is to throw the ball forward. But 
he needs to throw the ball in a way that it's precise and it ends in in a receiver's possession. Hmm. It needs to hit a receiver yeah. so that the receiver holds the ball and ends the play in his possession. Now, think of it this way. With 11 or 11 sc- uh, scrimmaging together, if you decide, you have two options when the ball is thrown back. You can run with the ball yeah. or you can throw the ball. Yeah. Now, as we have seen, a person running with a ball is a lot slower than the ball running uh, flying in the air. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So, that's where a quarterback has a potential of because people can throw the ball up to 50 yards far away, right? Like these guys wow. are like massive arms. Yeah. They can throw the ball really far. You can pretty much do like there are 100 yard touchdowns where a person just throws the ball up in the air right. and it just goes and lands the receiver and the receiver runs with it till the end zone. Yeah. Right. So you have like full 100 yard touchdowns. But like running the ball, you can have 100 yard running, running uh, touchdowns as well if he evades all the defenders, yeah, but it's yeah. much less likely. Yeah. So that's what makes the quarterback really, really important. Right. And the way the quarterback plays. So, and this is where also the option, and this is what is the amazing part. What also another point that really distinguishes American football is that in cricket, okay, when you're saying bowling the ball, all right, when you're bowling the ball, you have, technically you have unlimited options. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you can put down about 10 to 15 options of what that bowler is going to do with the ball. Right. At the very most. Yeah. The most and most likely 90% of the time he'll be doing six of those things. Yeah. If he's a spinner, there's an off spin, leg spin, blah, 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 blah. If the fast bowler, in swinger, out swinger, like yeah, basically right. line and length and line and uh, length, some variation. Which way it moves, yeah. In American football, you have and every team has its own playbook. Yeah. And every team runs has about close to 150 to 200 different plays in their playbook. Right. So every game that's being played, you're watching a play probably you have never watched before every single time. Right. Right. That's why, so it's basically more about strategy than... Yes. And so here is where it's at. Like what to the to the uneducated eye can look like just a bunch of guys whacking the <laughs> shit out of each other. Yeah. It's actually a very carefully choreographed like game where receivers have a certain route to run. Mm-hmm. quarterbacks have to like fake people out with their eyes and throw in certain spaces where their receivers can get it. Defensemen have to kind of monitor the players who are running through. And there is a whole bunch of strategy on the defensive side as well. Yeah. So, for example, a player who's covering someone deep might decide to come up and sack the quarterback. And so, sacking the quarterback is what a defensive win is like. Yeah. So, if I if I reach the quarterback who's yeah. got the ball yeah. and knock him down yeah. before he can throw the ball, yeah. That is counted as a sack. Okay. And the point is because he's behind the line of scrimmage, the line of scrimmage moves back. Oh, okay. So, wow. So, if you have got like downs, you start off with first and 10. First down and 10 yards to go. Mm-hmm. If the quarterback gets sacked, it becomes second and 15 or second and 20. Yeah. So, you have to cover 20 yards in three tries. Yeah. Then. So, yeah. that becomes even more difficult. Yeah. But so, so yeah. the, the game is played in four quarters, but I believe there is a halftime break. There is <laughs> distinctly. I think oh. that's one thing everybody knows. Wow. So, no, no, the which, actual tweet this time was uh, the game is played in four quarters, which is why after two quarters they got fifty cent in. Oh, wow! So, on that, that note, we'll take let's, a break. Let's, let's, yeah, small <laughs> halftime that's break. The most natural break we've ever. I know <laughs> that just flowed beautifully. <laughs> See you on the other side. Namaste, this is Cyrus Brocha. I am part of the government cancel culture program to remove rubbish off all the different streams available. So what we have is all the collected rubbish we put together on our show. It's called Cyrus Says. It's on IVM podcast. You have to watch it and listen to it. It's on our app. It's on our website. It's on the YouTube channel. It's on Facebook. There are many different ways. Don't bother me and ask me how uh, you have to find out. We talk to different personalities. Many of them are known. Some are just people we meet downstairs and invite them up for chai. But the point is, it's fun and it's very therapeutic. So please join in and listen to Cyrus Says. Welcome back to Simplified, where we are at the line of scrimmage and we shall throw the ball to push the ball to Sri Kit. <laughs> throw, 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 it's throw. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> nice. And so deep is the so deep has Sri Kit got into this whole NFL. Things that uh, that he is the that, profundity no, no, for no, the episode. No, no, the problem he stopped using the metric system only. <laughs> like, this is a problem. Like how high? Uh, like uh, like I asked him like what's your height and he said something like two yards or yeah, some yeah. some. Yeah, some, sure. Some, <laughs> something. He's carrying, no, carrying a ten the, ounce the bottle. The crazy thing is right now. I still. I mean, I don't like. Obviously, 
all the other metrics are also in uh, imperial. Yeah. So I don't understand pounds. I don't know how much. Like, if someone said here two hundred pounds, it'll take me a long time to Fair calculate enough. what they weigh. Uh-huh. So at this point, even I don't know how much a yard is actually. Yeah. But, but you know it in context of. I know in context. Like they're saying, move one wow. yard. I can see that much is one yard. So I don't know. Yeah, that is one yard. <laughs> yeah. I think there's a software engineering term for what you're going through right now, but we will discuss <laughs> it yeah. some other time. The intersection yeah. between software engineering and uh, yeah. psychology is very very thin, <laughs> but you're there. So. Uh, uh, I'm sure we could go on talking about the technical aspects of the game, but I'm assuming that uh, there are enough and yeah. more YouTube videos on this. What has always fascinated me, and I want to like ask you about like your fandom and all. So to me, there's always been the technical part of the game, and then the cultural aspect huh. of the game, like yeah. how huge it is. Like ever, I, I think all of us listening to this show would have grown up consuming some American pop culture or the other, be it Archie comics or be it Friends or uh, you know John Oliver, whatever the case may be, and. American football has always been a part of every single Integral thing. Into, yeah. And th- uh, there are probably lots of idioms and phrases coming from that game, which we have internalized, not knowing that it's from yeah. American football. Like shift the goalposts, for instance. No, or something. My, one of my favorite... Back on a Monday. Monday. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite references is, like there are people in India who have who idolize friends as a show, yeah. right? And who are probably like, there, I know of people who can like narrate lines during a show because they've watched it probably 15, 20 times the whole series, Right. And that that makes me think that there are so many references in Friends, and especially there is an entire episode which is all about playing football. So they are all on they Christmas. play yeah, they play football yeah. in the game, mm-hmm. and they are actually playing that. And I'm like, for someone who's so deep into the show and who understands, uh, who wants to get so close to the show, I really wonder if they really understand what, what they're doing yeah. also on the field. Like they're playing a game, but nobody really understands what it's about. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, yeah. So the point I was making, so there's a huge cultural component of the game as well. So yeah, I just want to ask you about that. How much of that did you experience? How much of that drew yeah. you in? So for me, that's where. So my, and uh, 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 are there like purists who don't want the cultural part of it and look at it only uh, from brilliant a, questions? You'll, all of you'll them switch yeah, 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 yeah. during the half time. Come show. back, come back to that point. Remind <laughs> yeah, yeah, me yeah, if yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm in the flow because that's that's an amazing question. So. What happens with, so this is what attracts me to sport in the first place. Like for me, sport is all about the culture first. Mm-hmm. Like for me, like if the sport was played in isolation where it was just about like, oh, these Technical men are doing thing, technical yeah. things and all that stuff. I honestly, the coaching stuff, I can get interested in briefly, mm-hmm. but I'm not really that keen on yeah, it. Yeah, which is why you never got into bobsledding despite my uh, attempts. Yes, pretty much. Yeah, the... I leave that to the Jamaicans. Uh, but, <laughs> but anyway. That's, where, that's, where, that's why it's in my head. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, so uh, what really got me into this thing and which is also primarily why I like to follow American sports is because cricket is an Indian culture as well. But yeah. the way Americans embrace sport into their culture on every level from whether it is played in high schools whether and how like how systematically it is adopted so there is a system of high school football and high school other sports as well yeah and what also blows my mind about how this thing is how well developed their amateur level of sport mm, is right. like amateur football uh, that is college football is in some ways bigger than the uh, the professional league yeah. because there are people who are following it they are nationally televised people go to the games like there are 80,000 90,000 100,000 people filling stadiums to watch amateur football yeah right and and in that and going to that culture point of things you have like entire cultures cities civilizations colleges yeah. built on the sport right so for example one one trend which you will see with like any pick a random American college student and they'll be like, where are you, which college you went to? And they'd be like, I go to LSU, go Tigers. Right. So mm. the point is that that is a part of like a, a lot of American students introduction because that that football culture and the support of the team is ingrained into their college life. Wow. And similarly in, uh, so if anyone's watched the movie, The Blind Side, yeah. right, there are, there is a concept in that called boosters. So there are people who have, say, gone to a particular college, graduated from that college, started working, have a bit of money there. And what they do is now they they give money, literally donate money year on year to their alma maters to build better football teams for them. Yeah. So and these, they are always animals, is it? <laughs> no, I mean, generally. <laughs> the football teams. Yeah. Uh, it's um, not really. I think there is. Uh, yeah, there are mostly or, animals. Or because they need to have mascots. Right? Yeah, but like like Gatorade comes from Gators. Yeah, the yeah. Florida Gators. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, you're right. I guess they're mostly animals. I yeah. don't. I can't be sure of that. But in American football teams, there aren't. Like there's the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, yeah. The Washington recently uh, changed mm. from the well, Redskins. Okay. 
to the washington commandos uh-huh. which which <laughs> really <laughs> yeah commander sorry commanders and that gave me like oh my god someone they, imagine a team changing his name and they went with commanders and i was like there is some coach influence over here <laughs> but anyway but yeah so in that context and some the, people might not have got that so yeah so best we just say that the kochi the erstwhile kochi ipl team was initially called the indi commandos and was changed for obvious reasons of obvious terribleness to kochi tuskers to the less terrible kochi tuskers yeah. kochi tuskers kerala kochi tuskers kerala <laughs> okay okay yeah so anyway uh, the point being also how the culture is it. like for example do you guys know what a tailgate party is Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's a situation. No, but you heard of the phrase tailgate? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like tailgate. when you go into an IT company, <laughs> I like how everybody's head just went to IT company. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> tailgate parties are basically these are now like cultural norms. Like yeah. you have like an official tailgate party now. Basically, what the tailgate was was before or after the game. a bunch of fans would park their cars back to back and uh-huh. kind of create like a small arena tailgate mm-hmm. effectively open their car bonnets with all uh-huh. the stuff in them and there would be like a small party in the parking lot right right and that has now become like a major like and tailgating is like a proper part of american football culture and this is after the game yeah is before it? after the game both right so tailgating like we are going to the tailgate right now we're going to the tailgate nice. parties and stuff like that so that is an effect that's an integral part of their culture how American football, like there is a like I watched the Super Bowl just now, and there is like the, when the national anthem plays, there's like the air force is flying planes over the stadiums and stuff. That is like the government doing that before the Super Bowl. Joe Biden was interviewed for 15 minutes as part of the official coverage. Like he was like, I'm going to be watching the match tonight. Like, can you think of even when the World Cup fi- final was is happening? I can't remember the prime minister, uh, anyone saying anything about it, mm-hmm. other than we congratulate the teams afterwards, mm-hmm. right? But here is where there is an active participation. Like everybody, pre- the entire country is hooked yeah. onto that. And and in fact, that's what happens at the end of the ev- every year. And this is not just for American football, but American sports in general. At the end of the year, the champions go to the White House, and they are sell- they are commemorated over there. So the uh, NBA champions. the nfl champions the mlb champions or the nhl champions all go to the white house These to meet four. the president These yeah no, i Do- think this like everyone no i remember there's a radio lab episode where there was a women's handball yeah, team yeah, yeah. that they, they went, went in slippers yeah yeah so they, uh, exactly and like <laughs> so they they go to like the they go like going to the white house is part of that so american sport is like really defied and among american sports like american football is like the holy grail of mm. sport itself and super bowl is the and super bowl therefore is like the showpiece event which like and that is disproportionately massive now even globally massive like the thing is this american football has such a massive craze but that's very very strongly concentrated inside one country right yeah but now it's which country <laughs> yeah wonder where <laughs> but uh, so because i mean it's so massively concentrated but the super bowl has become such a massive event that it it is like inadvertently almost leaking out of that country mm-hmm. and moving everywhere else yeah. and like now the uk is hooked like the uk had its own nfl team at one point of time really? and then they dissolved and stuff so it's no longer canada has right can no but this Basketball. is the funny thing oh that's right canada course. has yeah, canada course, has yeah. uh, canada so nhl the national hockey league is like equal number canada. of teams like there are like oh, six okay. seven teams in Amer- in america in nba there is there's one team from canada in the nfl the thing is actually canada has its own version called canadian football oh ho which is which is almost similar to american football but it has a few changes to it hmm. and apparently also has a lot of like support and followership also to it is it, it like aussie rules football somewhat like it's just like minor changes like it's not even like if you it's equal it's like hindi urdu <laughs> so <laughs> there's like oh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, correct i think either analogy could <laughs> yeah. get you lynched but so. yeah so that's where it comes down to so this is actually something that's really interesting so the do not all the noise all the yeah, so this is what happens like one of the most celebrated i was just watching so there's uh, the other thing is how it's packaged it's beautifully yeah. packaged there's a lot of oh, yeah, yeah, content yeah, that's yeah. put out there and in that content one of the things was there's a there was a game called the blackout game so basically there was a huge like i think a uh, something uh, weather balloon like exploded and fell onto a uh, uh, because of the aluminum foil fell onto like some power wires and oh. there was a massive blackout next When? to the stadium this time No, 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 not now. This oh, is the game. Oh, the Oreo Dunk in the Dark one. No, 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 no,
players were like there's no commentary there's no pa announcer it's just people the playing football playing. wow it is purest and, wow and there was this other thing where and so that that became that's like celebrated massively by the purists as wow what a beautiful there but is like no handheld camera it. footage oh. there's handheld camera footage of the whole thing and but how were the like, players watching were, were there lights or was it played yeah it was day? played during the day ah, okay. so but the thing is what American football also has is like they have a digital clock that says how much time you have left on the ah, play okay, and all that okay. so they are the this was actually the were, referee standing on the side saying you have 10 seconds left you have 5 seconds left Four, three, two, one, and wow, the blaster. quarterback had to see the referee and do the play quickly because they had the digital clock was not there in front wow. of them. So it was insane. But also on the other hand, there is like the uh, the broadcasters themselves actually are like uh, they they keep trying to do new innovations every yeah. time. And one of the innovations that they did was one game, which was a very critical like season in season game. They literally broadcasted without commentary. Wow, no commentators. and the purists like went mad it became a collectors item of a game like because they were like watching the game and all you could hear was the players on players. the field but you couldn't i mean and this is pre pandemic so there were fans yeah. obviously but you could only hear the players and the fans you and should. there was no commentary whatsoever and there was deliberately broadcast nationwide we should put out our uh, 250th episode of simplified as <laughs> oh man that is fantastic i'm surprised that uh, that's that sounds amazing but i'm surprised that that's not like given as an official option like yeah. today if you watch an ipl game i'm, I'm star, certain can... i'm certain in america i mean i don't know all of american broadcasting uh, standards but that Could might be. be an option for a lot of people Am- ambient sound yeah. yeah you can just turn yeah. out a commentary ambient sound and close captioning if you want to and all that and stuff and imagine with good headphones that, that yeah. sound amazing and yeah. imagine like when in virtual reality they, the last season that they played not this one the season before was without fans also so imagine you literally can only hear the players okay. on the field it's like so, a training ground yeah so it's like a training ground stuff but that's where also like the thing is they keep experimenting one thing which was amazingly hilarious which i saw was they also once experimented so normally commentary works this way right uh, there is a play by play commentator paired with a color commentator mm, right yeah. so play by play commentator just talks about the play by play that's happening and the color commentator is like oh kohli hit a 6 and he's like yeah so that's the 10006 of his career or whatever sure. that's the color commentator's job right so what they did was they they were like i think this is nbc fox one of those guys they were like you know what everyone really enjoys the color commentary right so let's just put two color commentators together and see what happens it ipl was, <laughs> it was an unmitigated disaster mm-hmm. right because they Slip. were like there is a play happening and neither one of them wants to call it so when the play is happening there's silence <laughs> and at the end of the play they both talking both over each other <laughs> so even wwe has jim ross and jerry yeah Lillard. but no they're also wow. yeah. yeah that's a cult reference yeah but there, there <laughs> but also there's, there's a play by play right correct, he's getting exactly. on the top row and yeah. then, then jerry lawler is doing the color commentary yeah. part right <laughs> so that's where so they then they realize that you can't do some things yeah. like you can delete commentary it might still work but you put two color commentators won't work yeah. Yeah. so that's but why. since since this is like a set play based game is there any gamesmanship at all oh okay. plenty okay. like uh, ga- okay what what do you like, mean like i mean like you know like mind game sledging that this oh yeah so then actually coming to so let me talk a bit about the yeah. greatest who is the sachin tendulkar of yeah american football tom brady tom brady but uh-huh. i would say I have at least a cursory knowledge of pretty much all the big team sports in the around the world. So like I follow all the sports at least to a cursory level and I feel among all of the sports that I know which includes cricket, football, basketball, European soccer or whatever else Tom Brady is the most overperforming athlete across any sport. So overperforming. Yeah. Goat so goat. I won't go, I won't say individual sports hmm. because individual is another level yeah. but I would say in team sports one single athlete who has like outperformed in in the context of that game it's crazy so yeah but he's done it only in one country and one country. Yeah. <laughs> no I say define outperform that's an so, interesting can you do yeah, it on a cold night so, in stokes I could I did wow key cricket reference done <laughs> can you like draw cricket yeah, reference yeah so I'll tell you that? okay so I'll tell you Don Brad Now oh, I was thinking Andy Flower actually. Okay, Tom Brad. You have Sachin, right? So okay, let's yeah. take Sachin Century's record. Yeah. Right. Uh, so what uh, Sachin Century records hundred hundred hundreds, right? Oh yeah, hundred hundreds. Hundred 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 hundreds. And who's the next one behind him now? I Someone think, said seventies. Seventy and all that stuff, right? So it's not even even when he was retiring, yeah. and when even during his lifetime, someone looked at it and said, "This is it's a great record. It's not insurmountable." Yeah. Right. It can be done. Yeah. and eventually like there was conversation of kohli overtaking it and stuff yeah, like that right yeah. so now this is what has happened with comes to tom brady 
so in american football the thing is their playoff system is is a very very winner takes all kind of thing mm. yeah so they have like you play do you play four uh, win or go home games you play four knockout games you have to win all four to win the super bowl and so even if you are a fantastic three team through the whole year you lose one game and you are gone wow right how, sorry how does that work so you basically have they basically take the top 16 teams uh-huh. so there are two conferences yeah they take the top 16 teams eight teams from each conference yeah based on some seeding system these eight teams play each other ha huh. and every game is a knockout game ha so pre quarters till final pre quarters till final yeah. so but the thing is like even in the ipl you have like if you are if you did done really well ah, you get one chance ipl is the only yeah but yeah. other than that but this is the one game where to get to the super bowl to win yeah. the super bowl you have to have a perfect playoff record you right. need 4 and nil otherwise you're nothing hmm. right you can win all season you can win all the 16 games of the season yeah. you lose one game you're done okay right so here is where what is the incredible part because of that every legend of the game and this game has been played for i don't know 70 80 90 years i don't know how long but for quite a long time if you have won one super bowl it's a massive achievement if you have because won because of the statistical improbability yeah game. if you win two super bowls and when you say uh, you're talking about individual or a team or as both individual team also you win two super bowls you have won uh, you have done like you are probably hall of fame material sure. already you win three you are a legend, legend. you are one of that select few of yeah, uh, whatever yeah. okay and there are very few have won more than three ever all right tom brady has won seven all right and he's been to 10 super bowls just to give context tom brady has won more super bowls individually than any team has done collectively wow hmm. as an individual because the thing is this it's crazy he played now think of it this way he played most of his career with one team so you would think he's won every super bowl with that team but then at the age of 43 he left that team went and joined another team and in his first season won the super bowl with them as well so now he's won more team than uh, more than new england patriots was the team he played with the most they have won six super bowls he won one with another team which is the tampa bay buccaneers and now he has seven <laughs> right so and he's a quarterback he's a quarterback so now also the other part that makes him legendary is that he just retired he retired 2 weeks ago all right at the age of 44 Now this man has played his best football after the age of thirty-seven. Yeah. So basically, Dhoni has a chance to overtake him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> the way he has no, <laughs> please. But yeah, so basically, he he won some of the most legendary games played. And the thing is, now he's retired at the age of forty-four. He topped the league on every quarterback statistic last in the last season that he's played at the age of forty-four. He quit. Imagine retiring at forty-four and going out on top. On top. Mm-hmm. So the man has like literally broken every record ever. He won the Super Bowl in his first season. He was drafted in two thousand. He played. Or he was a backup, and he played only in the two thousand one season. He won his first in the first time he played. He won in four years three Super Bowls, and then after that he continued this thing. And now again he's won like another four Super Bowls in back to back. And in the time that he was playing, every almost every year. Tom Brady was the one either winning the Super Bowl or losing the Super Bowl, and he was famously not the first pick in the. He was the hundred and ninety ninth pick of the draft. There's a Brady bunch or something. Yeah, so there's there's called the Brady Seven. Ah, oh, Brady Seven. The, so the Brady Seven is basically uh, so sorry the Brady Six. The Brady Six are basically six quarterbacks that were picked before him in the draft, and. They, and when you say draft, you mean that first. So season. the so the American football works in a way that there is so the new I'm players sure that come pro. into the team they have like an auction we have. Sure. But here to make it fairer, what they do is the weakest teams get it's to the get the better picks oh, yeah, up front. Yeah, get yeah. to so there's a pool you pick from that pool which mm-hmm. is called the draft. But the teams who are weaker get to pick earlier. The teams that are stronger get to pick later. in or in some mathematical yeah. order yeah, i've heard about this and that's weirdly socialist yeah it is <laughs> it is incredibly <laughs> socialist that way so the thing is and american football actually it's it's a great yeah. point you brought they also have salary caps yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah, like yeah. you can't think this is all american leagues so yeah, yeah yeah so it's very socialist in that way to maintain the fairness <laughs> yeah. which is a commentary on american capitalism itself <laughs> yeah. but anyway the point is so in that draft so the best the best so quarterbacks are always the best quarterbacks yeah. go first go either first overall second overall in the first round tom brady was picked in the 6th round 6th round meaning 32 teams picked once then twice then thrice then this thing at number 199 overall 
because he was not considered to be a great prospect. So there were six quarterbacks, and again, people if they are picking, if they are not in the market for a quarterback, they'll pick other players, right? Sure. You need to be in the market. But there were six teams that pick quarterbacks before Tom Brady, and he and Tom Brady. The thing is, the fire that burns. He knows all these guys' names by heart. Like you ask him anytime, he knows who the Brady six are. In the documentary that he did, he's like, I know these guys. I know their careers. I know their statistics. And my whole thing was like the fire that burnt in him, at least initially, was that how do I make my career so insanely legendary that these guys get eclipsed? And so that's what now the narrative is that he won a Super Bowl for every single one that was drafted before okay, him, wow. and then one for himself. He ah, is the seventh of the Brady seven, oh, right? So that's so nice of him. So yeah. <laughs> so that's so uh, coming to the point that you were saying about controversies yeah. about uh, gamesmanship. So. That's what happens when you are uh, like we saw. Dravid had that whole spit controversy. Sachin had like the some some other bad. Sachin had some controversy. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah monkey yeah, gate, yeah. monkey gate, and all that stuff. Yeah. The greater the player, there's the controversies that follow. So there was one apparent controversy that Tom Brady was and part of the New England Patriots team was part of something called Deflate Gate. Oh, right, they put oh a gate. I can. So it was. Imagine. So basically, the point is the more inflated a football. The harder it is to throw and harder it is to catch. Imagine right. a full taut yeah. football; right. it'll just bounce, mm. right? A slightly softer football is easier to throw yeah. because you can grip it little, better and you can throw it far. Is there. Little yeah. give is there. So the point is, they're supposed to be inflated to a certain psi, mm. and they were they were found to be inflated slightly lower than that. But and the players don't control that. But that's what it's. The thing was that there was a time when the balls were allowed to be in the opposition's locker rooms. Ooh. And so there was a whole thing about that and Tom Brady was banned for three games because of it and all that. And apparently, there are multiple sides to the story. Some say that this was nothing to do with Tom Brady. Everyone else is like, he's cheated all his career and all that shit. And so, that there's also like, great, like, uh, there's also another thing called the tuck rule, which is another insane thing, which is to uh, controversy that's there. But most of the controversies also in American football are like, like deflate gate, was, yeah. is probably more popular than Watergate ever was. Yeah. Right. So that's how like these this game becomes like insane. And that that's how much deep into the culture it is as such. Mm. Uh, so last question from my side. And we should stop because as Tony reminded us, this does not have, simplified does not run into overtime. So correct me if my understanding of this is wrong. So you said the weaker teams can pick the stronger yeah. uh, draft, etc. So, so part one, do transfers happen? And part two, yeah. is there like, like the English football equivalent of club loyalty, like Gerard is a Liverpool lifer. So, is there anything like that? So that, that like, and in American, like other American sports, like we know Michael Jordan to be, say, Chicago, Chicago Bulls, Bulls and all that. So, yeah. is that level of thing, or is it more like, uh, say, an IT company where you know whoever gets the best talent just cranks it, it out? It is pretty much like it's pretty much like a uh, club football in terms of loyalty is concerned. Like Tom Brady is a New England Patriot. Like he's a Boston legend. Right, New England mm. is Boston and New England Patriots. He played like 18, I think he played for 22 seasons. And out oh, of that, so the drafts can, oh, so yeah. the existing players don't get shuffled yeah. around. So, okay, no, no, no. Okay. But that, no, no, that's what happens. There are transfers. There are, there are everything right. happens. Like, so what happens is the in, new players who are fresh out of college yeah, yeah. get when drafted. You turn pro, it's a draft. When you turn okay, pro, okay, okay. it's drafting. Okay. All right. Then after that, what happens is you sign a contract. Right. And what happens is once you have signed a contract, the, unlike in American, unlike British football, where say I signed a contract with Liverpool for a hundred thousand mm-hmm. pounds, and tomorrow Barcelona decided to sign me, they would, basically what I'm doing is I'm doing a null and void on the contract okay, and signing yeah. a new contract there. Yeah. Here, what happens is I have a contract. Someone else buys that contract off you. Oh, so okay. if I have a twenty twenty thousand pound contract or twenty thousand uh, dollar per, per month contract. Uh, if tomorrow the Tampa Bay Buccaneers needed to buy Tom Brady out of a contract, they'll just buy his contract. Uh-huh. But so there. it's up to but the club. The, the the trading happens of players. So I uh-huh. pay that guy. So I'm if I want Tom Brady from the New England Patriots, I will give so many players and I also trade draft picks. So my based uh-huh. on my position, I will trade my draft pick also. Like I, to, you, I, you can have my draft pick for 2022, 2024, and 2026. Yeah. And wow. so the agency is not with the player, it's with the team. No, it is also, so now that's ha- changing. Earlier, it used to be that way. Uh-huh. But also, like we're seeing in um, European football, players, basically, especially if you're a really star player, hmm. you dictate whether you're going to resign or not. Yeah. Right. If, resign or, or resign. resign. <laughs> resign. I had a feeling you'd say that. Resign or resign, right? So you have like, so you can hold the team hostage on that. Mm. You can say, bro, either trade me now or I won't resign with you and I'll go for free next year. 
I'll play one more year with you, but I'll go for free next year, which is like pretty much like a, uh, so, yeah. uh, this thing also like a player yeah. demands to get yeah. sold to yeah. a different team, yeah. so that also mm-hmm. happens. And also, what's the big deal in the because when player contracts expire, there is something called free agency. So there are players who are out of contract and who are free agents sitting in the market waiting for teams to hi- wow. sign them on. So there is a huge free agency market as well. And I that, can see that's a completely different show. Oh yeah, that is that in itself is a, and also what has to be done is when you are signing a player, unlike American, unlike uh, UK and so, uh, mm. European soccer, you can just sign a player if you are if your means you can do that. Like yeah. you can do whatever. The financial fair play is a joke mostly anyway. In the US, you have a strong salary cap. You can spend a hundred and say hundred and twenty five thousand hundred and twenty five million on player salaries. If you are signing a quarterback who are paying 25 million per year, the rest of your team needs to be built in 100 million. Wow. Otherwise, if you go over the salary cap, you get penalized and shit. So you can't, and sometimes you won't be able to register also. Wow. So yeah, yeah. that is a will, brief. Yeah, yeah. We will end this episode with, because Tony and I are now dreaming of a America where the <laughs> capitalism <laughs> is socialized and American football is, yeah, you, yeah. you do whatever, whatever yeah. the boss. So the next time, I mean, the, the one thing I'll say is just, if you are ever caught watching uh, an American football game, don't be yeah. embarrassed about it. No, but just where, just where, count the downs. <laughs> but uh, oh, where, where do Indians watch NFL? Oh, so yeah. that's the, that's another. Oh man, that is a. <laughs> there is no official way you can watch oh, it. Wow. Okay. I paid twenty four dollars for an NFL international game pass, oh. which allows me to watch it on their. Uh, oh, online site. Severe brag value is there, guys. Please. please yeah, watch. but there is, and this is the insane part. My cousin was asking because she is in media and she was asking where to watch the uh, Super, Super Bowl Good. halftime show yeah. and I was like the only way to watch it is to buy the $24 pass <laughs> wow. and I was like I can't even share it with you otherwise I can't watch the game <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah so it's it's if, even if you wanted to just watch NFL to watch the halftime show or the ads you have to sign up for that particular thing. Mm. So right now, American football has no market in India. Paying to watch ads is like, yeah, yeah. stage capitalism. And and that's what I was telling you the last time when we spoke is that I was watching this incredibly insane, epic game during this year's playoffs. And I watched that game and I was like, at the end, like, it was, it was like the 434, 438 moment of that, of that, uh, of cricket. And I watched that game and at the end I was like, hands up and I was like, I don't even know who to call. Who to I don't call. know who will understand this. <laughs> like who will understand what I'm going through over here. <laughs> like I need to go and like find some random fellow in the US and jump with him because <laughs> nobody around me understands this game at all. So wow. yeah, so that that is, I mean, in India, it's so, very nice. The sheer joy of the one simplified fan. That <laughs> 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 this is an amazing podcast. Yes, <laughs> who's trying to explain this. So please, uh, I mean, I, I will admit my understanding of American football, I only have taken it on pretty much second half of 2021. Yeah. Like, yeah. Only, That's longer than a Wikipedia. Yeah, but article, that, that so. being said, I genuinely now want to find an American version of Simplified that's trying to do the same thing to cricket. Because, <laughs> I, I mean, oh, yeah, that exists, is, yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, yeah the, that's I, going to be a challenge. Yeah, to explaining cricket to Americans would be, I mean, American explaining cricket yeah, to other yeah, Americans is yeah, what I, I mean, need to just, see. Explaining the leg before rule, which even I admit I do not get fully at times, and I have appeared on a cricket podcast, yeah. as you know, is baffling. But yeah, th- Srike, thanks very much for that. You have, yeah. So w- what if he's just like told us all wrong? wrong. I don't know. What the- no, we can't even watch the game to verify. <laughs> this, this is this is like I was just telling you before. This the, is the April Fool's. No, this is what I was telling you before the before we started recording that uh, in our school we used to have a squash court and nobody yeah. knew how to play squash, <laughs> so we just invented a game to play over there. And so I mean, basically have just been explaining a game that I invented yeah. in my own head. Yeah. Yeah. After this, he's going to get on a call with his American friends and say, hey, I, said, check I, this out. I, I said the quarterback throws that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Shrike, thank you. For that, either fiction, like whether that was an actual sport or whether that is Quidditch, which by the way has a league, that's yeah. another never mind. Jesus. Yeah, never mind. Entertaining. Uh, yeah, that was a good fun. Thank you so much uh, for that. So, uh, yeah. so I think you should sign us out. Oh uh, man, mm. this is a tough one. Mm. Yeah, this is mm-hmm. yeah. Stay. Uh, 
scrimmaged no play. no what what is one feature so all uh, so there okay there are lots of different Haan. players and roles hey, but all of them will need some unifying yeah, yeah, yeah. feature right the head uh, coach but anyway no stick, i'll say uh, the one kick. thing is okay yeah. what is it tuning for in the middle oh those are the goal posts <laughs> <laughs> no but uh, uh, oh oh wow there is a whole concept <laughs> that i need to explain but uh, stay safe stay tightly spiraled and stay simplified oh, so enough. basically i can explain this also that that's ball the football uh-huh. uh, when the quarterback oh, throws it, throw it they have to throw it in a tight spiral because it's like a rifle bullet it yeah. needs to spin mm. and it needs to be tight like it, the the yeah. spiral if the spiral is not tight the ball will wobble Wonderful. and go anywhere else Amazing. so say stay tightly spiraled and stay yeah. simplified not just spiral because that tightly. is not tightly yeah, spiral. tightly spiral yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like right. a like also, a good notebook. Or blade steroid. Okay. Stay Navneet. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Yeah, I don't think anyone's there. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>